In that last video, I ran out of time, so I wasn't able to completely solve the problem. Uh, so I went ahead this time and started setting up the table to begin with. So we have a candy store sells chocolate covered almonds for $6.50 per pound and chocolate covered peanuts for $4 per pound. The manager decides to make a bridge mix that combines the almonds with the peanuts. She wants the bridge mix to sell for $5 per pound and there should be no loss in revenue from selling the bridge mix versus the almonds and peanuts alone. How many pounds of chocolate covered almonds and chocolate covered peanuts are required to create 50 pounds of bridge mix? So we try and figure out what they're saying here and just picture that in your head where you're taking some almonds and you're taking some peanuts and you're now going to be mixing those together to, crea to create a new concoction here. Well, let's talk about what we know. We know from the problem that the almonds cost $6.50 per pound. So I have set this up as I'm going to have almonds mixed with peanuts to create this bridge mix. And then thinking about how you buy things at the store, you know, you think about how you buy produce or whatever, you know, you buy it and you weigh it on the little scales and you, if it's so much per pound, then you know you have to multiply the weight of the object times the price per pound to tell you how much you're going to have to pay total. So that's what I used as my column headings here. This is $6.50 per pound for the almonds. It also tells us that the peanuts are $4 per pound and we want to create a bridge mix that would be $5 per pound. Continuing on in the problem, we also know that we have we want 50 pounds of bridge mix. So our the weight of our mix we want to be 50 pounds. Now they didn't talk to us about how much almonds and how much peanuts we're mixing together, but we do know that the total has to be 50. So whatever the weight of the almonds are, the peanuts would have to be 50 minus that. Think about it again. If you had, you know, um, 45 pounds of almonds, you'd have only 5 pounds left for peanuts. Now, if we multiply the weight times the price per pound, we get the total amount of money that has to be spent for those almonds. So that would be 650 times x, $4 times 50 minus x, and $5 times 50. When by doing this and setting up the table, this last column is our equation because we're going to be taking almonds, mixing it together with peanuts to end up with a total mix. And we don't want to the, the money to be any different whether you bought uh, the almonds and the peanuts alone or whether you buy the mix together. The money has to be the same. So our equation then is going to look like 650 times x plus four dollars times 50 minus x equals five dollars times 50 and then we continue solving 650x plus uh, four dollars times 50 that's going to be 200 minus four times x is going to be 4x I'm going to go ahead and drop the dollars there equals five dollars times fifty is going to be two hundred and fifty dollars. I'm just going to leave it as two fifty. Now we combine like terms so six point five minus four would be two point five x plus two hundred equals two fifty and then when we subtract two hundred from both sides we get two point five x equals fifty and then dividing both sides by 2.5, we get x equals 20. So x is 20 tells us that that's the weight of the almonds, 20 pounds, which leaves 30 pounds left for the weight of the peanuts.